thank you. That was Trevor back there on the trumpet, on the trumpet solo. And that was uh, Meditation uh, by the great Antonio Carlos Jobim, the father of the bossa nova. Nobody knows who the mother was. But... Sad, actually. But how are you folks doing? Outstanding. All right. Uh, our next uh, selection is a medley of Christmas songs uh, identified with the Charlie Brown Christmas special, and uh, which is the second most popular of the Charlie Brown specials. Thank, uh, the uh, Halloween is generally regarded as the most popular. Uh, way down on the list is uh, Charlie Brown Purim. <laughs> I, that, that, that wasn't very well regarded at all. But this is number two, Charlie Brown Christmas. <laughs> Who ate all the Hankintosh at Charlie Brown? <laughs> The prophet Elijah comes here. Here we go. One, two, one, two, three, and. Hey.
Lexi Kerr on the trombone. This next song, uh, for those of you who were here for the Triple Jazz concert uh, last week, you heard uh, my setup of this song, but I'm going to do it again for those of you who weren't here last week. Um, I have a love-hate relationship with this next song. I really, really love the song, and I love the arrangement, and it's so evocative of the, uh, the war years, the World War II, and um, it's uh, from 1942. Back in the early 40s, Tommy Dorsey, the, the great band leader and trombonist, uh, had a yearly songwriting contest. And the winner got $1,000, which was a lot of money in 1942. Still not so bad now. Uh, and uh, the Tommy Dorsey band recorded your song. Second place was like $50, and the Dorsey band recorded your song. Well, this was the winning song in 1942 by Ruth Lowe, I'll Never Smile Again. The second place song was a song called Often, written by a, a drummer and podiatrist in Chicago named Arnold Zuckerman, who was my father. No <laughs> Often. The skies are blue, so often I keep wondering who could be taking my place with you. I do wonder so often. So, second place. No, no, no. It's already been voted on. Apparently. I make myself
University of Lexington. Spencer right there in the trumpet section. And Mark Lawrence, the world's oldest freshman. Uh, Mark is a former uh, UW Sheboygan student, um, now UW Green Bay at Sheboygan, uh, but uh, now he's Green Bay UW GB at Green Bay student. After after a brief pit stop at, at Lakeland, so he's, uh, he's, he's 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 come full circle. Uh, you may see in the program that uh, it says that Jeff Sheebly was supposed to be here tonight. Uh, he sends his regrets. He had a little family emergency. So Mark is, uh, is uh, t taking the place of two trumpet players. I resemble that, Mark. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> and uh, this time I'd like to uh, just take a moment and introduce Eric Kampa, who's uh, joining us today. Very good uh, friend and colleague of mine on uh, tennis act, Eric Kampa. Our next selection is a uh, composition by Carlos Santana. Yes, that guy, the same guy who was at Woodstock and everything. It's Carlos Santana, the guitar player. Can a guitar player write stuff for jazz band? Yeah, sure. And we're going to feature Colin Oduani on your ropa, which is Spanish for your clothes. Maybe that.
All right, I, I can I can hear you just uh, sitting back there saying, okay, all right, uh, we need a little more trombone stuff going on. So we're going to feature uh, some trombone players. And this is Bone Case Full of Blues. And this is, uh, for those of you who bought a scorecard, this is uh, 12 bar blues in the key of F. Here's that rainy day. And at least we didn't have any rain today. 
That's all I have to say. And this also features the trombone section, so stop asking. <laughs> just say. Never say, it, just say. It. I would never say. It. Just say. It. <laughs> Two, three, four. Oh.
from Nathan Metcalf, Ian Temple, Pete, Seth and Johnny, Mike Lawrence, and Eric Copper. Thank you very much. We'll be right back with the, uh, the vocal guys on top of it. But first, we're going to push the piano back over here, and uh, Eric and I are going to get a play a tune at you.
David Cole. That was Purpose from Avenue Q. Our next song will take you back uh, uh, a few years. This is one of my favorite old songs. This is Moon Glow. It's based on a true story. <laughs> Happened to my cousin. <laughs> Sing out, please. <laughs> Feature Eric Hoppe on the saxophone. Joining us,
Okay, now we're going to take a turn here. Um, last spring, is it last spring that I talked to you about? Uh, I went to Christy Teller. Christy Teller is our fearless leader here at uh, UWGD slash the boy in campus. Uh, and she's our career professor and our ear training professor and voice teacher and our Whatever. everything. So I went to her and I said, uh, I'd like a, you know, a, can you put together, you know, take your compositional skills and, and give me a, a little Christmas medley of sorts. We did one last year called uh, Come Let's Adore Him. It was a big hit. And, uh, I wanted something to, you know, kind of close out the show. Well, if you know Christy, um, humor is a big part of her life. <laughs> she enjoys humor in her music. And so when I got this, and I think she sent it to you, to both of us, didn't she, Trisha? Didn't she yeah. email it to both of us? And, and Trisha said, um, her remark, Trisha's, or, uh, Christy's remark was, I'm sending this to you, you know, take it for what it is, use what you want of it. I hope you use it, um, and and she said, and please be aware that I enjoy humor in my music. So um, what you're going to hear is, um, I think the world premiere, or has this been? Okay. <laughs> this is the world premiere of the uninterrupted Christmas card, and um, we will need your help. There are a couple of places where we're going to need your help, um, and you'll figure it out. Further ado. The interrupted, in, interrupted Christmas card.
one. What is Santa's favorite gardening tool?